Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build your very own acrylic tarantula terrarium. Here are all the elements needed to build a successful acrylic tank. This is an Abril setup, therefore I came up with a plan. Obviously first double check all sizes to make sure it all worked correctly, which it does. So obviously sent off, bought the acrylic. Now what we have here is the, this will be the door section and the base sides obviously with the ventral <coughs> laser cut design, top, base, back, the hispan clasp and which is basically the lock and the two hinges all these are clear acrylic so there's just you, you'll see everything and this is the most important kit of all this is my mitre block I built this using little pieces of MDF cut on a band saw to make sure that each angle is correct and at a right angle because if this is wrong and the wrong angle when you're building your tank in this, your tank will fall apart. Very important. Also, we'll be using solvent cement, which isn't a glue, it's actually a chemical. And the only way this can work is if you have polished edges on your acrylic. And can I just add now, before we start, the acrylic has to be at least, at least 5 millimeters in thickness. Or, when you put a heat mat to these, they will warp, crack, and your spider will get out. So. I'll just, I've warned you now. Also a paintbrush, preferably a, a quite a small tip, but very hard paintbrush. You don't want a big soft paintbrush, otherwise the solvent will splash everywhere and it'll, it'll just ruin the acrylic really. Okay people, so before we do, remove this top layer of the back panel of the protective layer. Leave this protective layer on the back because when we place this on the wood, we can slide this round without scratching the acrylic. To begin with, we're going to need the top section, which is here. Again, remove the protective layer. Do not leave that on, or that will be only good. Okay. Place down like so. Make sure all is flush. Both sides intact into the corner, get your hard tip brush and your solvent dab and place gently in the corners like so. You don't need much, just a little bit, just to start it off. This stuff dries in about, god, 10 seconds by the way, so if you do do a mistake, make sure you take the plastic apart and reapply it very quickly because it does mark. It's it's very chemical, it's like an acid, you can it eat into the plastic. And once it's down, it's down. It's not so much glue, it's just, it's just the chemical acting between two two parts. That's looking great. A oh, little too much there. I'm going to do a close-up now and show you what I mean of how it glues. So I'm just cut it off there for one second. Okay, this is how you apply the solvent. Watch the areas now as it seeps in. You see how it fills it in between the gaps? It kind of becomes clear rather than a misty sort of section. That's what you're looking for. You don't want any gaps and any bubbles between them. So what we'll do, because that's instantly dried, we can turn this around and there, there's a good angle. You see these clear gap? Watch now, you have to make sure that these come out so we just dab, there you go. See how the chemical kind of runs into these? You won't get them all out, don't get me wrong, but you just want to do your best to make sure that you've got as much of them covered as possible because obviously the less gaps the stronger it will be right well that's solid anyway I mean I don't think I can get any more in there if I tried nope there you go and just do this in every single panel you do okay back again okay so now now the top stuck into the side. Again, 
remove all protective uh, sections of the cover. Place in the corner like so. Make sure everything's all at the correct angle. Because like I said, once it's done, it's done. Okay, now we get our solvent once again and start to glue very slightly. And start with small dips first, on the edges, and then work my way around. Just to get it, make sure it's all stuck in place. Ah, it's going down. Fantastic. Okay, just keep applying. Sometimes it helps when you add a little pressure, you press down and it sticks a bit, a bit quicker. Okay. Perfect. Again, once I've glued the inside of this, I'll go around the outside too and make sure it's glued from the outside going in as well. Sometimes the solvent doesn't seep all the way through. So you have to make sure you cover it on both sides. Really. Okay, just add some pressure. And hold for 10 seconds. Slightly on the outside, as we did on the top panel, just making sure we fill in all those little gaps we see, which is fine. There you go. This really isn't that hard to do, by the way. I'm absolutely rubbish at DIY. But Trust me, this isn't too hard. Once you've got this block, this wooden block made up, it's just a case of just, just gluing pieces, really. There's nothing to it. Okay. Second part, the line. The other. Sure. There's no dust. That's a bit of a nightmare. Okay, now that's that's, that's dry. I mean, that's I'm not going to force it again because it's clearly still weak as two sections. But I mean, you know, that's great. Okay, so let me see. I think so. Right way round. Okay, Let's stuff this now into that corner. Again, make sure everything is all latted up into the right angles. Have this piece of wood once you're happy. Just small dabs just to make sure you get these little bits in place. Because once the little dabs are stuck, it won't slide. A bit out of your control, really. It's just hold it like so. 